This video is an overview of a new speaker line at Audio Advice, Heiko Speakers from Germany. If you want to dive deeper than what we do in this video, be sure to click the link in the description that will take you to a much more detailed overview of Heiko's line of speakers on audioadvice.com. Now let's get started. At Audio Advice, it's just in our DNA to be on the lookout for new products. I do have to admit, we have an affinity for companies that have proven the test of time though. In early 2021, I came across a very old German brand that had never been sold in the United States. The tech they were using for their speakers was pretty interesting. Actually, the thing that caught my eye was the fact they had gone back and found old speaker drivers from the early days of hi-fi. They had analyzed how these performed and found in some areas they measured as good if not better than most current speakers. Heiko had then injected some new tech into those designs and came up with something pretty special. We asked for some samples and they made their way to my house where I checked them out. One of the bookshelf speakers turned out to be very musical with far more deep bass than you would expect from a medium sized bookshelf speaker. They also had a stupendous three dimensional sound stage. Build quality was top notch as you would expect from German engineering. The funny thing was, I had some confusion on the selling price of each versus a pair. I was evaluating them based upon what I thought was the price per speaker and thought they were great for that price. When I found out no, that was actually the price for a pair, we decided to become a dealer for these great German speakers on the spot. I like to tell you about the tech they use in all of their speakers, then go over some of the models that will be making their way to the United States for the first time. Heiko was founded in 1949 by a group of German engineers. All of their products are 100% designed and engineered in Germany, then made in Asia. Heiko's Fluctus tweeter is quite unique. Their engineers set out years ago to come up with a high frequency driver that had the positive characteristics of a horn loaded driver with even dispersion across all frequencies. The Heiko engineers envisioned a tweeter flange that was actually multiple horns within the same structure. The result of their efforts is the Fluctus tweeter and we have to say we have not seen anything like it on the market. Their measurements prove it does have a far more even dispersion pattern than a tweeter with a conventional waveguide. The Heiko Fluxus tweeters extend way out beyond 20K, giving them a very open, effortless, sweet character. The material they came up with for the mid-range and woofer drivers is equally unique. In today's world, we see all kinds of exotic materials being used for mid-range and bass drivers. Heiko went back to the golden age of stereo and rounded up some classic drivers. The one common trait they shared was they were all made from super high quality paper for the cone material. Heiko measured these drivers and found the damping and magnetic field force was more symmetrical than many current day exotic drivers. This led them to wonder how you can take this classic design and apply modern tech to it. Heiko takes German made wool fibers that are about a quarter to a half inch long and adds these to the pulp mixture to improve the damping characteristics of the cone. After the wool fibers are added, water and specially developed chemical substances are added and the whole blend gets run through an old school machine they call the Dutchman which twists the fibers perfectly to produce a lightweight, rigid, and well-damped paper cone. This whole process makes their paper cones cost over 10 times more than a conventional paper driver, but the result is a driver material that performs incredibly well. They call it their craft paper cone. Heiko then uses a Kippel laser scanning vibrometer system to come up with the ideal magnetic force and damping characteristics for each type of driver. The great news is they do not reserve this tech for just their best speakers. The Fluctus tweeter and Kraft paper cones are used in all of their models. This means not only do they perform well, but you can easily mix and match them for multi-channel home theater applications. Now let's take a look at some of the models Heiko will be bringing to the United States. With most Europeans living in smaller spaces, Dolby Atmos is not as popular as it is in the US. Heiko, like many European speaker companies, does not have any options for Dolby Atmos. Their models focus more on great stereo listening and well-matched 5.1 channel home theater systems. Heiko's ambient speakers are all designed to be mounted on a wall to take up minimal space. All of the models come in black or white and each one comes with three different colored grills, a very light gray, black, and a classic dark gray linen look grill. The neat part is, even though these models are very inexpensive, they use all of the tech I just talked about. 
The 11F is the smallest model in the Ambient series and it's pretty tiny using a 4 inch craft paper cone woofer and a 1.2 inch fluxus tweeter. The sealed cabin is constructed of 0.59 inch MDF and is very solidly made. They come with keyhole mounting brackets on the rear which push the cabinet off the wall about a half inch which cleverly gives you room to access the recessed five-way binding post. With such a small cabinet though, they do not go that deep in the base region. For full range listening, you would want to add a subwoofer. However, these are perfect for wall-mounted surround speakers you can pair with all of the larger Heiko models for a match 5.1 system. The Ambient 22F moves up to a 5-inch woofer in a much larger cabinet. The cabinet is not only larger, but has a base reflex design with a front-firing port, which not only gives them more bass punch, but improves their sensitivity. For small spaces, these provide pretty rich sound in a very small package that takes up no floor space. A pair of these could even be used for even fuller range wall-mounted surrounds for home theater. The 44F is the largest ambient model and is almost 30 inches tall. These have dual 5-inch craft cone drivers mounted above and below the Fluxus tweeter. This means that it can be used as an on-wall stereo speaker or as an LCR speaker on either side of a TV and one below the TV as a center channel. The 44F reaches down really low into the bass region, rivaling some floor standing speakers. They're also very easy to drive with a sensitivity of 90 dB. If you use these as LCRs, you'll be very pleased with how musical they sound for your stereo listening side of things as well. Aurora is a more conventional range with a mix of bookshelf speakers, tower speakers, and a center channel and subwoofer. The baffle the speakers mount to is made of a very inert material and to make it even more solid is shaped into an L that covers both the top and the front. It's finished with a silk matte black or ivory lacquer paint. The sides and rear are recessed in behind this baffle and are either in a dark or light colored wood finish. The look is really cool. The cabinets on all of the models are made of almost one inch thick MDF with extensive internal bracing. The rear binding posts are also more solid than you would normally expect to see for this price category. Heiko also uses a very dead PVC material on the inside back of the cabinet to reduce resonance even more. I found all of these very easy to drive with them all having a sensitivity at least 89 dB or better. These did require some pretty good pushing during our break-in period to come to life. I felt it took almost 100 hours of continuous music to get the best results. The smallest Aurora 200 puts out a really big sound for its size with surprisingly deep bass too. These are a two-way bass reflex design with a 5-inch craft woofer cone and the 1.2-inch fluxus tweeter. The Aurora 200 is one heck of a bookshelf speaker. You'll need to position them away from the back wall as they have a rear firing port, but if you put these on a good set of stands, they throw out a great sound stage. Obviously these would be great for stereo listening or paired up with the bigger towers as surround speakers. The big difference between the Aurora 300 and 200 is woofer and cabinet size. These are about 14 inches tall, 8 inches wide, and almost 12 inches deep. The larger woofer and extra cabinet size enables them to reach down even deeper to the lower frequencies. These are definitely designed for a stand though, with a depth more than most bookcases. The connections are upgraded to dual binding posts for bi-wiring or bi-amping. For smaller rooms, these will be all you need for a very full sound that's also silky smooth. When you look at the Aurora 700, you'll probably think it sells for twice as much as it actually does. The Aurora 700 is a true three-way design using a 6-inch craft cone mid-range driver coupled with dual 6.5-inch craft cone woofers and paired up with the great Fluctus tweeter. There are dual rear ports for the base reflex design. The cabinet has extensive cross bracing internally with a frame on the bottom that extends out beyond the speaker for extra stability and either rubber or metal spikes. The Aurora 700 can be easily driven with a modestly powered amp as their sensitivity is 92 dB. Both the Aurora 700 and 1000 are very dynamic loudspeakers. You'll easily hear subtle changes in volume with these that'll pull you more into the music. They also image quite well if you spend some time setting them up. The top of the line Aurora 1000 is all about more bass impact. Everything is the same except the base drivers are upgraded to dual 8 inch craft cone models and the cabinet moves up to 4 feet tall with more width than the Aurora 700. Sensitivity is 93 dB which is just super high for a speaker like this. You'll want help positioning these as they weigh almost 60 pounds. There's no question these are incredibly dynamic with the ability to reach down quite deep. The one center channel in the line uses two 5 inch craft cone mid-range base drivers with the same 1.2 inch fluctus tweeter. 
The design is base reflex with a rear mounted port. We think Heiko priced this center channel too cheaply for the performance it offers. It not only makes up perfectly with the Aurora models, but sounds amazing for the money. You'll easily hear all the subtle details in a soundtrack. The Aurora Subwoofer 30A uses a very stiff 12-inch long throw craft cone driver. Normally in this price range, you'd expect to see an 8-inch or 10-inch driver, but you get a 12-inch woofer here which can really deliver deep bass. There are two large rear-mounted ports above the amp module. Most subwoofers in this price category use a Class D amp to save some money, but Heiko uses a real Class AB power amp to drive the sub. The rear controls let you adjust crossover frequency, phase, and level. Are there better subwoofers out there? You bet. But wow, for the money the Sub 30A costs, it's a stunner with fast bass that does not sound like a lot of those one-note subs at this price point. To music lovers in Europe, Salon is almost a household name as this model series has been around for generations. The new Revolution version is the fourth revision of this classic speaker series. All of the Salon Revolution speakers take things up to the next level from the Aurora models. They all have a much more elaborate cabinet design. The front baffle curves back with both sides tapering towards a much skinnier backside. This type of design greatly reduces internal cabinet resonances. Heiko does not stop there as the top also tapers up from the front, giving the speaker a taller back. I was impressed with the binding post Heiko used on these models. Not only are they fully bi-wire or bi-amp capable, they have an option to tie into a different connector for the tweeter which has a slightly different slope for the tweeter. This connection boosts the tweeter's output slightly by about 2 dB for rooms that may be a bit too dead from heavy drapes and furniture. The cabinets themselves are well braced and made of one inch thick MDF, which makes for a very heavy speaker when you pick any of these up. While these share the same type of design for the tweeter and mid-range bass drivers, they get the next level up in technology. The Fluctus tweeter in the Salon Revolution series is made of higher quality materials with a 30 millimeter polyfiber compound dome, powerful double ferrite magnet systems, and a new aluminum front plate with fluctus geometry. The result is even sweeter sound with more high frequency extension. Heiko specs this tweeter out at being able to reproduce up to 52K, which is just amazing. All of the mid-range woofer drivers have an aluminum die-cast basket with a special linearized magnet system. Heiko developed a special dust cap for the Salon Revolution they call POC, which stands for Phase Optimization Cap. The surround is designed for a longer throw and the voice coil is bigger with higher power handling capacity. The Salon Revolution 3 is a speaker that convinced us to become a Heiko dealer. This was the pair I thought was prices each when it was per pair. The Salon Revolution 3 is a two-way bass reflex design using the better Fluctus tweeter with a 6.5 inch mid-range woofer. The cabin is just built like a tank. These do need to be on a stand as they're about 16 inches tall and 14 inches deep. After setting these up and playing a tune or two, I was impressed by how natural they sounded. But the thing that bowled me over was how accurate and deep the bass was for a bookshelf speaker. Everyone who heard these commented on how they could not believe how good the bass was for something this size. I tested these with a variety of types of music and every time they floated great image in front of me with no strain at all. I had these set up for quite a while and used them for some amp comparisons I was doing and they reveal the differences between different amplifiers quite well. The Salon Revolution 9 takes everything the 3 does and puts it in a higher performing tower speaker. The cabinets are extremely well braced and weigh in at about 85 pounds which shows you how beefy and solid they're made. It sits on aluminum cross braces that extend outside the speakers for a bigger footprint. These have massive metal cone spikes that are height adjustable. On the spikes, they're about 50 inches tall. Like the Salon 3, the drivers were upgraded to the Revolution 9. They use the same tweeter as the Salon 3 in a three-way design. There's a 6.5-inch Heiko Craftcone paper mid-range driver, coupled with dual 8-inch Craftcone woofers. With a sensitivity of 93 dB, they're very easy to drive and could be used with low-powered tube amps. They are capable of a high degree of resolution and will show off the benefits of a better amp. I do recommend these for a larger space where you can pull them away from the rear and side walls. Heiko states they go down to 19 Hz, but they don't list their 3 dB down point. I didn't feel they get that low, but the bass they do produce is super fast and quite impactful. This is another model that has us scratching our heads at how Heiko packs so much speaker in for the price. You might think they should cost twice what they do when you compare the driver set and build quality to other speakers. 
The Revolution 4 is the matching center channel for the other models. These have two of the 6.5 inch mid-range base drivers used in the Salon 3 with a single tweeter in the center of the cabinet. They have the same curved sides, but the top of the cabinet does not angle up like the other Salon models. Heiko spent a lot of time tuning these to reveal subtle nuances in the human voice. While Heiko does not really have any Dolby Atmos options, if you want a high resolution two channel system coupled with home theater, pairing the Revolution 4 Center with either the Salon Revolution 3 or 9 will fit the bill. I hope this introduction to one of Europe's oldest speaker companies has opened your eyes and ears like ours when we check them out. We'll be setting these up in our stores for you to experience. If you have any questions about Heiko or any other home audio or home theater gear, feel free to chat with us online, give us a call, or drop by one of our award-winning showrooms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out the playlist section on our channel to easily find all the content you're looking for on anything home audio or home theater related. We'll see you next time.